And while the Iraqi offensive against the Islamic State continues in Mosul, our correspondent Daniele Pagani visited a Nineveh plane protection unit camp in Al Khosh town. Here's his report from the ground. The Nineveh Plan Protection Unit were born in 2014, after the Islamic State stormed the many Christian towns and villages in the Nineveh Plan. We decided to visit their camps to understand from a closer perspective who they are and what they do. We are close to the small village of Al-Kosh, in the northern part of the Iraqi Kurdistan region, and we are now within the base of the Nineveh Plain Protection Unit, a Christian militia counting on 500 men right now who gathered in order to protect their areas from the presence of ISIS. In the camp, we speak with Atrahado, the media person and spokesperson of the organization, about the necessity of creating an armed group to protect Christians. And the first area that happened by ISIS in Mosul or the plane, the forces on the ground, they just left. So, of course, we are like, we thought that we have to protect ourselves by ourselves. We reached the base at lunchtime and we realized that many of the soldiers just joined and they need to be assigned fatigues and equipment. The Christian group is regularly recognized by the Iraqi central government, who is providing them a regular salary. When it comes to weapons, the shortage is evident and the group manages to build some on their own. Sometimes they have also to rely on unconventional channels to provide weapons. So this is a rudimental mortar, one of the several that they built by themselves here in the base. We buy, like, there is some people who sell and you know you are in the Middle East. You are in the Middle East, so uh, it's easier than any than the West to buy when weapons from anyone. And there is people who have their own personal weapons who want to buy. And General Bechnama Bosch, commander of the Christian group, receives us and explains the idea and the function of the group. When I and my people need someone to help us to protect us against ISIS, there is no one come from the central government or from the army. We just left the operative base of the Nineveh Plan Protection Units and as we understood they are one of the many groups with weapons in this war. They are willing to protect their people, the Christian Assyrian people living in this area. The general told us that once war will be over and once the government will be strong enough in order to protect them, they will not fight anymore. But this is yet to be verified. Daniele Pagani for VO News, Al-Kosh, Iraq.